Rising interest rates are good for banks, until they aren't. That's what we're seeing with the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and sell-off in other bank stocks. Here's the backdrop. Higher rates increase the profitability of a bank's main business, which is to pay lower rates on deposits than they charge for extending loans. But when the Federal Reserve plows ahead with non-stop interest rate increases, like it's done over the past year, problems start cropping up quickly. Silicon Valley Bank got hit with a one-two punch. Number one, its customers, a lot of startups, were burning through more cash because it got harder for them to get funding. VC firms are no longer throwing their money around. And when your customers need cash, you need to have enough on hand. Banks usually park a big chunk of their money in super safe investments like treasuries and other securities. So, number two, SVB was forced to sell those investments to raise cash to meet all the withdrawals. The Fed's rate hikes have pushed bond prices lower, which meant SVB sold its securities at a loss. The total loss? $1.8 billion. When SVB announced the loss, other startups got scared and started pulling their money out. It was an old-fashioned run on the bank. Big banks may end up the winner here. After the great financial crisis, the government imposed all kinds of capital rules on banks that it deemed too big to fail, meaning J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, and their peers are required to have a lot more cash on hand to meet potential withdrawals. They even have to ask permission to pay dividends to shareholders. And now many of those startups are playing it safe by diversifying where they put their money and opening accounts at the big banks.